Let me get a drink first. I don't know. Hold on. I got to get a drink, too. Cheers. <laughs> cheers, cheers, cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers, guys. <laughs> this is awesome. I'm, you know, I've been dreaming about this. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. So, guys, welcome to episode one of The Branded Felon. This is a new segment. It's uh, Dan, Kimmy, and Ryan. Welcome, Kimmy. How are you doing tonight? I'm doing real good. I'm excited to be here, Dan. Ryan. Oh, I'm doing excellent, Dan. You know, it would have been really cool if we did have Shelly for the first episode. It, it really would have been. Yeah. Because Ryan and Kimmy went to prison together, and Dan and Shelly went yeah. to prison together. That's a fucking love story. The prison couples. The prison couples. <laughs> so, for people that don't know... Uh, we're going to do a little opening here, introduction. We'll probably edit a lot of this. I'm not used to reading scripts. But so the first episode of the Brandon Felon, really the whole concept of this is we have a tagline, right? What's our tagline, Kimmy? Mm, you wouldn't know if we didn't tell you. You wouldn't know if we Beautiful didn't tell you. Beautifully said. We've got different types of felons. You wouldn't know if I didn't tell you. We want to kind of expose that people can really be something different after prison. I agree. So, Ryan, who are you? Uh... My name is Ryan Park. Um, my background is just the normal blue collar going to work. Uh, when I was in high school, I went to a vocational school. Uh, my dream was to become an architect and basically retire by the time I was in my 40s. Uh, you know, when all my friends were going out partying and drinking when I went in high school, um, I stayed in school, did good. Um, by the time I was 17, I was an engineer. And I was a project manager by the time I was like 21, I believe I was. Um, I bought my first piece of real estate when I was, uh, I think, 22. Um, I was doing great. And all of a sudden in 2007, 2008, the world became um, a little bit different. The market crashed. Um, you know, at that point, that's when my life kind of went to a crossroad. You know, instead of me kind of facing, um, you know, hey, I'm about to lose everything that I just worked hard for and restarting my life over, I try to save my life and I try to maintain it. And that's when I got introduced into, um, for lack of a better word, the, f the family business. <laughs> <laughs> so so um, it's weird. It's, it's weird when you get introduced into that kind of world because it becomes so easy. So it's like a drug, you know, it, like it starts small and... What's really weird is when you start to get into that kind of criminal mindset, how if you can justify one, then it leads into another and it leads into another. It's like almost like a snowball effect itself. And I didn't realize that's what I was doing at that time. So, you know, I justified doing one criminal enterprise and, um, you know, pretty much it was insurance fraud. It was fraud. And... I saw things that, you know, gave me nightmares. I saw things that I'll never want to do again. But at that particular moment, I didn't know what my limitations were. And I justified it to myself. And I said, okay, I'm just going to do this one. And then I'm going to, this is going to help me. And then I'm going to restart my life over again. So I moved up to Spokane, Washington with some of the funds that I received from that first one. Um, then all of a sudden, you know, I bought a house and then I had to maintain that lifestyle. And then the snowball continued growing and growing and growing. Um, and when you say, uh, insurance fraud, I know you can't go into super details, but we're talking about like staged events, yeah. car accidents. So basically it was, it was, uh, stage accidents. Um, and it wasn't accidents where, Hey, look, you know, ow, my neck hurts. It was real real to the point where there was blood, uh, surgeries, things of that sort, things that, um, it, yeah, it, it's bad. Um, to where I've had pliers in my mouth to where I've cracked a tooth. Um, so, so it looked like it came real. from the accident. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um, 